Hey guys, it's Sherelle Star here and welcome to Lifestyle Unbox. On this episode, we're actually going to be exploring the Mazda CX-5. I've been driving this car for about a week and want to do a review for you guys so you can find out how it handles and sort of what I thought about all the features in this particular car. So let's get started and go inside. So the first thing I want to tell you about this particular car model is it's got front and side airbags, so you've got your safety items checked right there, but it also has iActive Sense, which is your car built-in radar, which will tell you if you're too close to a hazard on your right or left side, and then on your front and your back. It also has a built-in rear view camera, which I can't park without, but it's also great for letting you know what hazards are behind you, and you can look straight at the dashboard, which is pretty nice. So jumping into the features of the Mazda CX-5, we actually have a touch start button that actually starts the car. And as soon as you start the car, the touch screen pops up. Of course, it gives you a warning, so I'm gonna, oh, agree. And then you've got multiple options um, for your touch screen display. Communications, you can actually hook up the car to Bluetooth so that you can call and make phone calls. Um, a built-in navigation system, uh, the settings is that way. Entertainment system, which you can actually, again, hook up to your phone if you wanna play Spotify. But you can also play FM radio, you can play Pandora. If you have your Bluetooth uh, hooked up, you can play through Spotify. Um, or you can also play music through your regular phone option, which is kind of nice. I do want to go back to the uh, command center just so you guys can see the navigation system. This was actually one of my only challenges with this particular car. The navigation system just isn't as user friendly as I would prefer. When you go to actually enter in an address, you have to enter you know, the country and the city, state and all that fun stuff. I wish it was just a little smarter to pick up if I put in a zip code or if, if I just start putting the... Um, local address in for the city I'm already driving in, it would be great if it knew where I was for GPS. So that's one of the um, negatives for this particular car, but hopefully they can fix that on future models. I also want to show you the actual command center in the middle of the car here. So you can also, let me move my wires. So you can also, and also my candy, which is sitting in the cup holder, but you can also control the um, touchscreen monitor right from the center console. And so navigation, music, um, you can go front and back. Let me just show you as I'm moving the knob. Um, you can scroll from here as well. So that's pretty handy. It's got a volume button right here. And also the parking brake for the car is also in the center console. It took me a second to figure out where it was when I was uh, looking to park the other day. So that's where it is. It's in the center of the console. And then everything else is um, pretty standard. I mean, you've got your dual uh, AC heating system up here. So you've got one for the passenger, uh, excuse me, one for the passenger, one for the driver. Let's see if you guys can see that here. Different AC. So you if someone wants it cooler, if someone wants it warmer, you can definitely do that. And then back up here to the steering wheel, hopefully you guys can see that, um, it actually gives you a count of how much gas you have and how many miles you can go until you're empty. So I can go about another 217 miles before my tank would be empty for this particular ride. Uh, you can see the Mazda logo in the steering wheel. It's got built-in controls. So if I want to turn the music up and down, if I want to move it fast, if I go skip a song, if I want to go back a song, if I want to make a call, it does have voice, it is voice activated if you want to use the voice activation feature, but you can also hit the buttons to uh, make a call or hang up a call and then use the voice activation feature to tell it to dial. Um, and then of course we've got cruise control over here as well. Um, and then you've got um, your AC uh, vents over here on the panel. Just want to do a panel pan for you guys so you can see the full dashboard. I also wanted to point out this particular car has a sunroof, which is kind of nice. So a nice little perk in this car. So you can actually look up and see outside, which is kind of wonderful. And then you can always close it if you don't want that open. The CX-5 actually seats five people. It's pretty roomy in the back seat. I'm gonna hop in so you guys can see that. So let me just sit in here. So you do have a lot of leg room right in front of you if you're a passenger sitting in the back seat. You could also lay down if you needed to. <laughs> back here. I just want to show you guys. I have my person here, but I'm going to show you how far you can lay down. So like, again, I'm 5'3", so I get almost all the way across in this particular car. Um, it does have cup holders on both doors in the uh, uh, in the back seat, so that's really great for passengers as well. You don't have to worry about spilling anything. There are cup holders here. 
I wanted to show you the trunk of this particular model so you can see how much space is back here. I actually got to use this uh, a couple of days ago when I hauled some stuff to my storage unit. It's got actually a lot of room back here, so you know, I'm about five foot three, uh, so it's a little larger than that. And then it's got all this room back here, plus when you fold the seats down, it actually doubles in size, so you actually get a lot of room with this particular trunk, which I kind of really enjoyed, um, came in very handy. And then there's also a DC port um, to the side. I'll make sure I show you guys on the camera, but there's a DC port um, that you can plug in um, your items. If you want to charge something back here, you can go ahead and do that as well. So for the CX-5, it actually has a lever that you use to move the passenger, the front passenger seat front, uh, forward and back, which is different than, it, than the actual driver's seat. The driver's seat is actually an automatic button that you hit and it'll move the seat front and back. So I just want to let you guys know that. But besides that particular item, um, driving this car was a pretty smooth ride. It gets about 26 miles to the gallon in the city, 33 on the highway, which is great. Um, it goes from 0 to 60 in about 7 seconds, actually 7.7 .7 seconds to be exact. If you want to test that out, go ahead. I didn't have the opportunity to do that in the city anywhere, but uh, just so you know, you could do that. So if you're interested, you can check out Mazda.com to check out the car. This is again the CX-5, 23195 price. And if you like this particular video, you can make sure to leave comments below and share. And follow me on social media at Sherelle Star, and then again at my site, notjustgirlandaddress.com. Till later, guys. Bye.